Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul again. I uh, just wanted to give you an update really um, today on um, the female orangutan that I started a couple of days ago. Um, this is now uh, available um, on my Red Bubble art shop and I'm going to turn it into a pillow for the uh, patio. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a little spam money spider there. Must mean I'm going to be rich. Um, I'm going to turn this into a pillow um, and hopefully you like it. Um, put a lot, of, quite a lot more purple in um, this area here uh, and around his eyes and then across over his um, over his forehead here um, and I brought the green back in because there was green on the original photo there was just a little flash of green here so I've extended the green to the edge of the, the square remember we did uh, 20 centimeters Mr. Frat, the spider's back again here. Um, 20 centimetres by 20. Um, and then I've just go, gone over the edge. And then what I've done to put it onto the Red Bubble art uh, page. I think the spider likes this orangutan. Um, I put it onto the Red Bubble page. I've just cropped the image then right on that line. And obviously just inside that, that uh, pencil line. I haven't uh, rubbed the pencil line in. You can still see it there. Hopefully, um, it's had the kind of effect that I wanted. Uh, lots of bright colours. I put a bit more dark, dark green. Um, I've I've done a review of uh, my first um, subscription for Scrawler Box, and inside the box there was some quite thick uh, Faber Castell uh, pencil crayons that cover large areas, and that's the green that I've used there. Um, brought a bit of yellow in here and then orange around his mouth. But this, on the photograph, the original photograph, there was sunlight coming in here, and this was completely white and white fur. Now, I haven't been able to do the white fur very well um, because simply uh, it's very difficult to do once you've put the colour on with pencil cranes. much easier if you're using acrylic or oil. You can then just um, dash some some fur lines on afterwards, just highlighting white, but you can't really do that with pencil crane. So all you can do is leave the spaces as white flecks. Uh, this female's got quite a lot of um, darker hair in this region, and she, on the photograph, is very, very dark down here with a with an orange um, tinge to the to the hair around around the mouth. Okay, I've added some green. Um, there's no green in the original photograph, but I quite like just tying that in, the green coming all the way around here uh, and through into the hair. Uh, and then she's got a lovely kind of um, bright red um, mane of, of hair around her, around her uh, main features of her face on the photograph. So I tried to replicate that. I put a lot of dark reds and, and some bright pillar box red and some oranges in. And then... This is kind of the, the body behind a uh, head. Um, so that's exactly what the photograph looks like on this side. This one, I've, I've done a little bit of artistic license because the photograph stopped here. Um, so I wanted it square, so I've just extended the hair and then just brought a little bit of the orange in to suggest that the, the body would come round here. She's actually got her arms folded on the photograph, um, but I've cut that off. Um, but you, you can see here that there'd be the elbow uh, and that had come in and she's actually got her hands underneath uh, folded over. You can't actually see her hands, but it's just all hair from the, the top of the palm of her hand. She's kind of, she put a hand like that really across across her chin, um, looking a little bit uh, bored, I think. Um, so, um, enjoy doing that one. Um, no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, be a bit of a surprise uh, for me. One of my daughters wants me to um, show you how to draw uh, the globe, um, the earth. So I might have a go at that on a little stand uh, at some point. But um, yeah, that's that's um, the last of the primates that I've I've painted. I've already painted um, gorillas and chimpanzees, and I've I've not done a, an orangutan for years and years. So I thought I'd have a go. I'm thinking about doing a an orangutan now in acrylics and uh, doing it for. Uh, you know, doing it for uh, sales, really. Um, if anybody fancies uh, buying an orangutan piece of original art, just let me know. Um, I'm sure I can get onto that. Um, somebody's requested two uh, two zebras from one of my other uh, tutorials I did. Um, so I've got to crack on with those those two. 
almost identical to the one I've already done, so that'll keep me busy for the next few nights. And I hope everybody's well during uh, this uh, long bank holiday weekend. Um, and you're staying safe and safe distancing. Uh, street parties for VA, VE Day yesterday. Uh, hope everybody's good and uh, speak to you again soon. Take care.